It's always best to consume juice right after you make it, but what if you want to store it for later? Hi, it's Dan with eujuicers.com and in this video I'm going to share with you some tips that will help you keep your juice tasting good, fresh and nutritious for as long as possible. Now a lot of manufacturers of slow juicers recommend storing juice for up to 72 hours. Here at EU Juicers, we say 48 hours is really the maximum you should go. You could keep it longer than that, but you really start seeing a big drop off in the flavor and in the nutrition especially. Now why is it that juice should be some, consumed so quickly? You can buy juice in the, the store, fresh juice, and it'll last for up to a week. Well, a lot of the juice you buy in the store has been pasteurized or it has been uh, processed or has preservatives to keep it fresh, so to speak. Whereas juice from a juicer is raw food. It's just like cutting a fruit or vegetable open. Once you cut and expose the inside of a fruit or vegetable to air, it begins oxidizing immediately. Think about a banana or slicing open an apple. It starts turning brown. That's the interaction with the oxygen turning it brown. This can cause uh, kind of spoilage, bacteria. So you want to properly store your juice because that is a raw food and there's a few ways you can do it. First tip for storing raw juice or for having the best tasting juice is to use a slow speed juicer. There's two types of juicers out there on the market. The common one you see in shops, the one that's been around forever, is the centrifugal high speed juicer. Those are the juicers they will run anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000 RPM and that high speed action is exposing the juice very quickly. It's turning it over fast, fast, fast exposing it to a lot of air, a lot of oxygen. It's also creating heat and those two things combined will make juice really not something you want to store. If you're using a centrifugal juicer, they work fine with a lot of produce. Just make sure to drink the juice right away. Even if you store it, put it somewhere, you'll notice it will separate. You'll have a clear layer and you'll have a thick layer down at the bottom. That's just the process of it. But a slow juicer like this, this is a Sauna 727, uh, they run a lot slower, anywhere from 40 to 120 RPM. They come in a few different forms, but the main giveaway is uh, there'll be an auger or a gear inside, just like a, a worm type gear, or in some juicers there's two of them. And these run slowly and these allow you to store the juice longer. So that's the first tip. Look for a slow juicer. Don't try storing with a high speed juicer. Second tip is you can add a little bit of citrus, specifically a lemon or a lime. If you add a little bit of that to your juice, that will slow down the oxidation because it has ascorbic acid. Uh, I'm going to be making juice today with carrots and a couple of apples I picked in my garden. In fact, I've got an apple here. I'm going to cut this guy. And you'll notice when you cut an apple, it'll start turning brown pretty fast. So what I'm going to do while I juice, I'm going to squeeze some lemon on one of these, one half. I'll put it on this half here. So I just squeeze some lemon juice and let's see by the end of the video if uh, this should be a lot cleaner looking uh, and this guy will start turning brown. So if you can add, if you don't mind the taste, add a juice of one lemon or one lime. It, you know, these are strong fruits and they'll add a distinctive taste, but they complement a lot of juices really well, especially uh, carrots, root vegetables, and even apples. It goes together really well. What I'm going to do now for the other tips, I'm going to make some juice so I can kind of show you what I'm doing. I'm going to use it here, uh, this Sauna 727, and again, it's just going to be carrot juice and a couple of apples I'll throw in. I'm not going to add any of this citrus to them. So I'll start juicing and get back to you in a second.
So I guess I've made enough juice there. I'm gonna close this, this little cover to keep it from dripping. And what you wanna do after juicing, first of all, you need to store it somewhere cold in a refrigerator. So make sure to get it in the fridge as soon as possible and you wanna store it in a container that is airtight, that can seal. Something like this. Here's a glass bottle and it's got a silicon lined lid so there's no uh, plastic con uh, contact or anything like that. And you wanna fill it right up near the top because you wanna minimize that air contact. You want a narrower container if possible. Uh, we even sell some tall, narrow bottles because again, that lessens the footprint, the area between the air and the juice. So again, fill it up to the top, seal it tight, put it in the fridge. That would be good for up to 48 hours. A way you can get even more life out of it would be something like this. This is a vacuum container. And this is one of those things, if you order on ujuicers.com, you can select a free gift. And among the free gifts are these glass bottles or this vacuum container. And this is one, if you're ordering a juicer, I would suggest this. Basically what it does is um, you fill it up. Again, you wanna fill it up really close to the top. And then this little pump just goes on and it will actually start drawing air out. And you can hear the air rushing back in there. And that will let you really uh, keep it fresh because you're not only minimizing the contact, but you're pulling most of the air out. So you're reducing it quite a bit. Just like with vacuum blenders, they've become really popular these days. That's because they remove most of the oxygen before all that contact is made. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the juice into this container. And hopefully I don't spill. Uh, let me go the other way since I'm right-handed. Now I could have juiced the rest of these guys because I would recommend even filling it up to here if you can. All this means is I'll just have to pump a little bit longer. And then you just put on the pump here, hold it down. The, this comes with the pump, and you just start pulling up. I start feeling the resistance already. There's a one-way valve down here. And once the resistance starts getting pretty hard, I'm already starting to feel it. It'll be even faster if there's more juice in there. And then it's good to go. I can't open this now, it's sealed. In fact, when I pull this thing, you'll hear all that air rushing back in. So it just takes 30 seconds of pumping, maybe less if you fill it to the top, and that's gonna keep the longest. That will keep it absolutely the freshest. Put it in the fridge, and in 48 hours, it will taste almost as good as new. One last thing, uh, notice here, it's been 10 minutes maybe since I cut this. You can notice here how the citric acid is keeping this side of the apple fresh, and this one's already starting to oxidize. You know, in another hour, this thing will be soft and really brown and very unappetizing. So the trifecta would be use a slow juicer with some citrus, uh, with a lemon or lime, and put it in a refrigerator in a vacuum container, and your juice will taste good for the next two days or so. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I always look at the comments. I always like to have some ideas and I love answering your questions. So please do that. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan with eujuicers.com and I'll see you next time.